morning team, welcome to today's workout. Uh, we've got a nice little sweaty one for you, my favourite. Okay, so we're going to do a little warm up to get us going, get the heart rate up. I want you to do two rounds, nice simple movements. Okay, we're going to start off each round with a 100 metre run. If you haven't got room to go out for a run or you don't want to go out, it's raining or whatever, 30 seconds of any sort of cardio. You can jump on your rower if you've got one, you can do 30 seconds of burpees, high knees, or butt kickers, something. Just get the heart rate going, get, your, get yourself moving, okay? And then you're gonna grab something reasonably heavy. I'm gonna take a risk here and use a full paint pot and hope that it doesn't break, okay? And you're gonna do five high pulls. So from the floor, pull in nice and high. Okay, so squatting down, keeping a nice flat back, and pull in, elbows high. All right, get that paint pot right, or you can use a backpack or a dumbbell, get it right up to your chin, okay? Put that to one side and do 30 seconds alternating lunges okay and then you're going to grab your heavy object again and you're going to do 10 strict press so you can either just 10 strict press like so or you can do something a bit heavier and do 10 on each arm if you want to do it that way okay and then you're going to go into the plank position and you're going to do five plank to pike. Okay, so from the high plank, hold it there for a second, back into pike for a second, and then back. Okay, you're going to do five of them, just holding it in each position. And that's the end of the round, and then you just repeat that once more. Okay, so two rounds in total. And then we're going to crack straight into our war, uh, workout, which is going to be four rounds, starting each round, the 200 meter run or 60 seconds of cardio like in the warm-up but I'm just going to push it a little bit harder I want you to push the intensity a little, a little bit as well okay come back from your run or jump off the rower finish your burpees whatever you've done you're going to, going to do 30 seconds of jumping lunges alternating legs okay so rather than just a normal lunge we jump in each one okay so really exploding out of the bottom of that lunge make sure the knees touching the floor every time that's not just half them okay you're then going to go to 12 up down and broad jumps, so the up down to the floor, jump back, and then as you come up, you're going to leap forward in the broad jump. Okay, I haven't got much room, so trying to stay in shot, but I want you to try and jump a little bit higher than that. Okay, so up down, broad jump. All right, 12 of those, and then you're going to go 12 bent over rows. So, hopefully, a heavier object. So, if you've got a second paint can. Or second dumbbell you can do with two arms or something heavier if you've got a backpack that you're loading up and you can just do 12 rows like that okay squeezing the shoulder blades together pulling it up nice and high i don't want you to have to jerk each one so let's get a nice controlled weight that we can do nice and straightforward okay test yourself but make sure we're keeping that form and as simple as that those four movements four times all right and then a little finisher that we're going to do I want you to accumulate three minutes in the hollow hold position. Okay, so this is the hollow hold. Nice tight core. You can bring the hands in if you're struggling a little bit. Okay, but try and keep that nice tight core in this position. Start a stopwatch. Every time you need to rest, stop the stopwatch and do 10 air squats. And when you've done your 10, back into your hollow hold, start the clock again. Okay, and keep repeating the process until you get three minutes in that hole. All right, enjoy the workout guys. Any questions, feel free to give us a shout. Put any comments below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends. Love you lots.